Waking up slowly on this PNW morning. What is happening, folks? Joel of All Vapes coming at you. Another edition of PNW AM Reviews. Gonna try and fit that one into the description. Got my coffee, got my vape, and we're rocking and rolling today. So today we are talking about squonk mods. Gotta wet the whistle to keep it moving, you know what I mean? Okay, so squonks all over the market these days, you know what I'm saying? And um, I am no exception to the squonk mod lover like so many of you out there. Incidentally, if you have just tuned in, thank you very much for joining me. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Check me out on Twitter and of course hit me up on a follow on Instagram. So with the Squonk Mod revolution, um, there's all kinds of shapes, sizes, colors, builds, constructions, you name it. Today we're going to be talking about the VBS resin model iron surface squonk. Now those of you that had the opportunity, and quite a few of you actually did, saw my iron surface squonk aluminum, hard body aluminum model from VBS. This is a pretty awesome little squonk. I use it all the time. But the resin model is pretty much where it's at, okay? This is uh, like top of the line in the form and the function as far as simplicity is concerned. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. We'll get a little bit of a more in-depth review. I'll even give you some dimensions on this bad boy so people stop whining to me about how big of an atomizer they can put on their box mod. So let's get down into the nitty gritty and do it like we do it. All right, folks, so the Iron Surface Resin Squonk Box in all its glory. Now, this is not the kit version, as you can see. It's just the simple Iron Surface Mod from VBS. And uh, what we're going to do is bring out its cousin, its brother, its sister, whatever you want to call it, the Iron Surface Aluminum Hard Body Model. And uh, as you can see, we're already looking at very, very similar dimensions. Now, I happen to get a vivid RDA, a BF RDA, if you will, for this box. So it doesn't come with it, but I ended up getting one of these just to kind of show you a little bit of contrast. So first of all, pretty much similar in many respects. The, um, the gold anodized uh, button as well as the little logo plate on the front. On the back, see it's pretty much identical in shape and size, but there are obvious differences. Number one, this being a resin, this being an aluminum hard body. So what I'm going to do is put that aside for now. Let's just kind of take a look at the internal structure of this bad boy. Now, as you can see, the first thing that I noticed was its 18650 adapter capability here. So originally, this thing was set up for a 2700 battery, which is pretty much as badass as you can get. These 2700 batteries have about 35% more power per capacity. So not only is it going to last you a little bit longer, well, a lot longer, depending on a full charge, but it's also going to give you a little bit of an initial higher fire but it's also gonna give you an initial greater fire just as soon as you hit that fire button. So we'll stick that aside and I'll show you what I'm talking about a little bit later. But first of all, like I said, let's take a look at the internal structure of this. Now you get the squonk bottle that comes with this. It's a really, really super, super soft, super tactile feeling uh, squonk bottle. The rubber on this just has a really nice, smooth, and soft feel. And the one thing I like about the rubber squonk bottles like this, a little bit better than um, kind of the plasticky resin type models, is that those after a while tend to lose their shape, especially when they're screwed into the top mounting base here. I'm actually gonna take this bottle out and uh, give you a little bit of a look-see. And uh, the one thing I like about the VBS model squonk bottle is that the top cap comes completely off with the squonk tube but the lower portion here is pretty much tied in and completely locked into the upper portion of the squonk bottle it just goes right over that and then overlaps the top of the bottom and it just screws right back into place okay so it's nice and soft nice and squeezable really really easy just to uh, put it right back into place and give it a little squeeze when your fingers come around like like so, you know what I mean? Okay, so we've got the upper portion right here is just basically the top plate for the negative, the lower portion for the positive. Just hits that positive base, goes straight down, unbrowned, and then over the top. And then you have basically a, just a simple half moon cutout shape, as you can see, that hits the squonk tube, which is gonna give you your power and your conductivity. Gonna pull the top cap off here and uh, give you a little bit of a demonstration of its burnability. 
Now, as you can see, a little bit of a slow fire with the 18650 until after I kind of get it going a little bit. Like I said, these things were originally created for the 2700 batteries, and it makes a little bit more sense once you start kind of kicking and grooving. So the one thing I want to touch base on that I didn't do in uh, the Iron Surface um, mod review that I did with the aluminum body is that I said before that the buttons do not have a locking function. Well, a lot of these Squonk mods have an internal locking mechanism, usually connected to the Squonk tube, where you can pretty much just kind of rock it back and forth, to and fro, a little bit of a switch on the inside of where the tube is constructed, where it goes through the 510. These actually do have a locking mechanism, but it's in the button. So basically what you do is you twist the button in with your thumb, and eventually what will happen is it will just get flush with the outside of the squonk box. Just like that. Okay, see how it's pretty flush? And it prevents you from making a connection with the squonk tube. So that is its locking function, which does make it pretty convenient if you, you know, want to throw this thing in your pocket or the ladies want to throw it in their purse or something like that. It's not going to fire on its own, which is pretty convenient. So just kind of twist it clockwise and then you're going to be able to obviously make the connection past that point okay so and uh, let me give you a little bit of a contrast here we'll take out the um, aluminum hard body version of it and you can see the differences in between the internal construction here now I would look at the resin model and think okay that's a heck of a lot more simple and it is it's a lot more of a simplified type of uh, internal structure and you know to be honest with you I really don't know why they didn't do this on both models. The one thing that I don't like about the iron surface um, hard body uh, mod is the fact that you've got the upper portion plate right here which comes down into the switch plate but then you have this little switch tab right here. The one thing that I don't like about that is that that makes it really, really prone to breaking because pretty much all it is is just this little tab was cut out then bent this way. So it does still function, but as you can see when the switch plate tab hits the squonk tube, it actually sort of bends it over to the right a little bit. I really think that that just kind of adds to a great instability and a weakening of the whole mechanism right here. As you can see, it just kind of pushes it back and forth. Eventually, I'm looking at this thing and saying, okay, that's going to break one of these days. Something like that's going to happen. Even if, um, you know, you, uh, you're you just kind of hitting it gingerly or gently. Um, stress points is what I'm talking about here, okay? This metal is not super, super strong. It's mass-marketed metal. Um, you know, I, I almost kind of tend to think that they came out with this one before they came out with this one. I just said, you know what, oops, let's come up with a little bit of a simpler design. But so far, this has not broken on me, knock on wood, you know what I'm saying? So overall, this resin mod has given me a solid amount of pleasure. I really haven't had any qualms about it. Everything has its pros and its cons. So what I'm going to do is take out this 18650. And uh, the one thing I will say is that uh, this did come with this 18650 adapter, so you're not going to have to go out and you know and try and scour the internet to try and find one of these. And I'm going to throw in my 2700 battery and just kind of give you a little bit of a demonstration at just kind of uh, the differences between the power and the fire from the two batteries. So obviously a lot quicker, a lot hotter, and uh, right now we're just going to kind of go with that for the time being. So the price point on this is about the same as uh, the iron surface hard body aluminum version, uh, give or take about 10 bucks or so. And I will give you all the information on where you can buy both of these in the comment section below. I'll throw you a link on that one. Now, and you guys can't tell, but the resin on this is actually really, really soft. You'd almost think that it's kind of brushed resin. It's super, super soft to the touch, an amazing tactile feeling. The inside is a little bit more vibrant and kind of shiny and sparkly. My daughter would love that, let me tell you, but I like my bling too. I didn't even ask him for these uh, this color combination. It's absolutely gorgeous. It almost looked like grained wood with uh, little knots in the wood. I love this stuff. A lot of the resin mods out of the market today are just amazing. And the one thing that I've noticed is that many good quality resin mods are actually costing more, if not the exact same amount, as a lot of the metal mods out on the market just because of their design, their structure, how they're made, so on and so forth. And they're just really sought after. 
VBS has kind of outdone itself on this particular mod. They're staying really competitive with a lot of other brands on the market in terms of just the overall shape, size, color, dimension, so on and so forth. Speaking of dimension, what I'm gonna do now is get just a little bit nerdy with you and bust out my electronic calipers. I've actually had a lot of people get a hold of me and say, you know, what are the dimensions of this mod, Joe? Da -da 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 -da. I want to know what kind of uh, atomizer I can use with this thing. So what I'm going to do is give you just a quick measurement of the proportions of this mod right here. Okay, so the width of it we're looking at 53.23 millimeters and the short width we're looking at thickness wise 24.9 so the good thing about this is that if you've got a 25 millimeter Addy you can probably just barely put that thing on and have just a tiny bit of overhang so so pretty much anything sticking within 24 millimeters and I think you're good to go just measuring the atomizer right here say we're looking at 23.9 roughly so that's, I mean, just pretty much perfect for this mod. So that just gives you a little bit of an indication as to the kind of atomizers you can fit on that and still make it look good, you know what I mean? So what I'm going to do now on this brief review is bring the camera up. We're going to give this a little bit of a dance with the 2700 battery and then we'll kind of fill in the rest. Okay, so we've got the VBS Resin Iron Surface Squonk Mod with a 2700 battery in there. Like I said, you've got your 18650 adapter if you want to bust out one of those. Now, one thing I did notice is that with a fully charged 18650 comparatively to a fully charged 2700 battery, the both of them just do not compare by any means. I personally believe that the 2700 batteries are going to be overtaking the mod market there are so much more advantages to a fully charged 2700 battery besides the 35% more power per capacity. They last so much longer and the price point is darn near just exactly as much as you can buy for the highest end 18650 out on the market and they really are taking the vaping industry by storm. In the future you might want to consider stockpiling some 2700s especially now where the price point is decent there's more companies coming out with better brands. Um, so far you know I'm using the iJoy 2700 300 mile high rate 40 amp. That one gives me absolutely no trouble. I'm loving this battery but Let's give this a little bit of a dance, kind of show you the differences between the fire between the two. And I will put the 18650 back in. The one thing that I'm noticing is um, on the 2700, on a more immediate fire, definitely a stronger, warmer vapor with the air intake valves open all the way on the Vivid BFRDA. It's about standard as far as any quad post deck that you're going to find as far as a bottom feeder. Now, the one thing that I don't much care for this, and I touched base on the Vivid RDA, BFRDA, on the Iron Surface um, Hardbody Squonk Mod review, is that uh, the center portion where the 510 connector goes through is a little bit raised from the bottom portion of the juice well in the RDA, which basically means when the squonk pin goes up, everything is kind of raised, so you have two separate portions on the bottom of the juice well, which means unless you have both coils working, one coil on working on one side, one coil working on the other, the juice is not going to wick evenly. The juice is going to go into one side if you have a single coil, but it's going to get stuck in the other. It's just going to kind of sit there because everything is completely flush. I like a completely flush base so that the juice has the opportunity to wick evenly on both sides, thereby giving you the opportunity to use just one coil if that's what you want to use. But with this, you know, it, it's, it's best to use both coils because of that design. I consider it a little bit of a flawed design, but you know what, um, reviews like this hopefully add a little bit of feedback. So the 2700 so far I think is working best with this mod. It doesn't add much more weight to this than the common mod, even with a single 18650, since a lot of single 18650 box mods have a little bit of decent weight to them anyways. But for a resin mod, I think that was an excellent idea because it offsets the weight, gives a little bit more power and option wise and it just um, it just feels good you know what I mean
Now I will contrast this with a single 18650. Can I kind of toss it out there, okay? And like I said, it does come with an 18650 adapter, so you're not gonna have to uh, try and scrounge online to find one of those. Okay, so this is a fully charged 18650. Now, a little bit of a solid quick fire on this. Not as easy to see on camera because the coils were already kind of preheated, but the one thing that I do know is that I fully uh, switched over between both batteries, and there definitely is a difference. If you buy one of these, you're gonna notice. Put in an 18650 right off the bat, it does take a little bit longer by maybe a couple seconds to fire. But for people like me that just kind of like a little bit of an immediate gratification, which I know a lot of you guys out there too, you want to push the fire button, you want to feel that immediate vapor hit. You know, you want that instantaneous connection, that conductivity. It's not bad on a fully charged 18650, it actually will last a decent amount of time, but with a 2700, you're working much more power, much quicker fire, and it's going to last you twice as long, in theory. You know what I mean? So. You can get the VBS Iron Surface Resin Squonk Mod on healthcabin.net. And I am going to be working on a discount code for you coming up here in the future. I'm gonna see what I can finagle for all of you guys. But I just wanna say, VBS, thank you very much for sending me another quality product. Really appreciate you guys sticking with me. If you enjoyed this review, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. You'll see a lot more of the uh, vaping in the AM. I'm, you know, somebody told me that I kinda look like Hugh Hefner with, uh, you know, that I just basically need to get myself a pipe and a little thing of cognac over here. But uh, you know what, instead I got my coffee and I got my vape. Maybe I can get one of those uh, vape pipes, you know what I mean, just to kind of keep things true, you know? Okay, so anyways, thank you very much for joining me. Check me out on Twitter, check me out on Instagram as well. This is Joe of All Vapes, your eye in that morning PNW sky, wishing you to stay humble. You love yourselves, you love each other, keep it cloudy, and by all means, pinky out. Hey everybody, this is Joe of All Vapes. Thank you for watching. For the best in vape reviews, pound that subscribe button and don't forget, vaping saves lives.